everybody. Um, so this is the first episode in a new series that I'm starting called Future Whip Wednesday. Um, I got the idea of, or the concept of Future Whip from, um, if you guys watch Kim Wilpon Crafts, on here on YouTube. Um, I'll link her down below. You should check out her channel because she's, she's fun and quirky. She was doing an interview with her mom and and was asking her how many whips she had and she asked if that included um, actually started whips or just whips in her head. <laughs> and um, I really related to that because you know I go I search through Ravelry and I pick out dozens and dozens and dozens of patterns and and they're all future whips in my head. Um, so I thought that I would do this future whip Friday, um, and talk about patterns that I want to make. Um, and hopefully this will introduce you to some new patterns and, um, or if you've already made the patterns, then you can tell me how it went. So the first one that I want to do is called the Dotty Cowl. And let me show you a picture of this here. It is so pretty. It is knitted or knitted. It's crocheted with two um, different colors of yarn. And this is made the, um, what do you call this? The sample was made with Malabrigo sock yarn. So it's two skeins of sock yarn. And it has a reversible look because of the way the stitches are. And I just think it looks really, really neat. Um, and so this is a free pattern. I think I got it off of Ravelry. Um, I'm almost positive I got it off of Ravelry, but it might be available in other places. The designer is Lena or Lena Fedotova. And so I have two different color combinations that I want to do. Um, the first one is a very Christmassy color combination. I just got these yarns the other day. These are from the Woolly Cabin. And you can find them at thewoollycabin.com. There's also an Etsy shop called the Woolly Cabin. And I believe I got them from the Etsy shop. But this one is called Wintergreen. And this one is called Christmas Sprinkles. And they just think they're so pretty. And I really, really want to start this project soon. And I probably will start this soon. Hopefully I'll have it made so that I can wear it for Christmas. Um, although, I mean, these colors, they're Christmassy, but I think I could get away with wearing a cow made out of these all winter long. You know, they're not like too Christmassy. So that's the first one. And then the other com color combination that I really want to do is these. Now these are two of my four skeins of Lola Bean yarn that I managed to snag from Cece's, Cece's yarn, Cece's wool. Um, I didn't originally order this one. I ordered a different one, but she ended up being out of that. And so, um, she asked me if I wanted this color instead or a refund and I said I would take this color instead and I'm super glad I did because it goes so nicely with this cream one. This cream one is called Southport and this one is called Knuckle Sandwich. Um, and they just look so pretty together and um, I'm super, super excited. I follow Lola Bean Yarns on Instagram and I just love all of her posts um, and her yarn is beautiful too. And so it's really, really kind of hard to get your hands on. So when I found these, I was super excited and I bought four skeins. I bought a DK skein of this knuckle sandwich and then these two and um, another fingering weight yarn in the strawberry milkshake, which is a, just a beautiful pink color. And I had no idea what I was going to do with them. <laughs> um, and then when I saw the dotty cowl, I thought, oh, that would be perfect for these two skeins of Lola Bean yarn. So those are my plans. Um, hopefully I can get at least the Christmassy version started 
soon um, and show that to you soon. So let me know in the comments what one of your future whips is or if you've made the dotty cow, let me know about it. Let me know how you liked it, how it went, um, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye.